Hello everybody, it is Sherry from Sherry's Painting. Um, <clears throat> today we are going to be doing this bear, but we're going to be doing something different inside the bear, okay? Um, I actually did this on a Christmas ornament um, a few years back and I just thought it would be fun to put in my journal because I was thinking about bears this morning. So, welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. Um, I hope you enjoy the process and please do hit like and subscribe if you would like to be notified of upcoming videos. Also, welcome back if you guys have been here before. I really love um, any comments or feedback that you guys have. And, um, you know, so I hope you enjoy this painting process with me today. So, the, the supplies we're going to be needing today are paper towel. Uh, we need water. Okay. We need a Sharpie ultra fine point permanent marker. We need a pencil to do your sketch. I have here three brushes though. I don't always use all of them, but you know, you guys, you can use whatever brushes you like. Um, I've got a script liner, a small round and a medium round brush. I just got those at Michael's. Um, we also are going to be using our Teza watercolor pencils, okay? So I have the colors here black, um, I have pear green, I have robin egg blue, we have um, periwinkle blue, as well as fern green and forest green, okay? And you're probably wondering why we need those colors for this bear, but you will find out shortly. So here we go. I have drawn a little sketch of a bear. I did get the um, outline from, or the sketch from Pixabay, uh, which is royalty free site. Um, and I just sort of uh, drew it as best I could. Um, you can certainly go to Pixabay and find this bear. You can print it out, trace it, and then put it on your paper if you want. Um, but I just sort of drew it freehand, um, along with the photo in front of me. Um, so I think without further ado, we're going to get started. Okay. I hope I've mentioned all the supplies or that that are required. Um, yeah, so let's get let's get to it. So the first color I'm going to start with is the robin egg blue, and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to press fairly hard in here. Okay, and I'm just going to cover the um, top half of the bear with the robin egg blue. And I'm pressing fairly hard. And then once we get in there with the paintbrush, we're going to activate that color. Okay. So press fairly hard. Don't make straight lines. Okay. Because they're really hard to get rid of with these pencils. So we just want to sort of go probably about halfway down that bear. I think is what we're going to be doing. And I want it to get darker as it goes to the bottom of the bear, okay? So we're starting with the lighter color and then we're gonna switch to the other color. There we go. So I think that is about right. Might go a little lighter under here, okay? And then we're gonna switch to the periwinkle blue and we're gonna go right in from about we're going to leave a little center of white there because that will be our little blending in between. And again, we're going to press fairly hard in here and we may add a little more um, darkness to the bear later, but I think for now this is good. We'll have to see about that. I, I, I've never tried this before with watercolor pencils, so this is a new experience for me too, everybody. So don't feel bad. All right, so let's just cover them all in. Just like that. Don't worry about the direction you're going in because it's all going to be um, changed with the once we get that color in there anyway. Okay, so once we've done that, then what we're going to do is we are going to actually um, trace the bear with the Sharpie pen before we start activating any color. 
So I'm just gonna go over what I've drawn here. There we go. And way up over that hump and around the butt. And don't forget about the tail and the legs as well. And he's got little sharp claws there. I'm gonna go up and around, up in this area, down here. And again, don't forget the claws. And up this way and around. And then that way. We wanna make his feet fairly flat but he's kind of just hanging out in the air here, everybody. So this is just the way I wanted to do this today. I, I just, I wanted to do this bear. I don't know why, but I did. So we're, we're doing it and, and we're liking it. So there we go. And his feet go here flat and then his claws go out there. Okay, so there's our bear. Just gonna change this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we've outlined him. I might actually outline him a little more here too. Just a little darker in that, in that little section. There we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our medium brush and we're just gonna dip it in the water. And we're gonna start from the light center area and work our way up to the dark, okay? So right in this area, we're just gonna start nice and light. And then we're gonna work our way up. And just zigzag your brush along, you guys, okay? Just like that. Perfect. And around the line, you know me, you guys, I'm not one for staying in the lines. So I just never have been. And I want you just to zigzag it around so that you don't get any blotchy areas, okay? There we go. And he's nice and dark up in here. And then we're gonna do down in here as well. The less water you have, the more control you have over your paint, okay? Just to give you guys a heads up on that. And then I'm gonna go up in here as well around his head in this area. I'm gonna add a little more water there and just fill that in around his head area. And then I'm just gonna gradually work my way down and around. And that way your sky, you know, cause this is ultimately, this is what this is, is it's a sky, okay? We may come in and add a little bit, um, a bit of a darker color later, but for now, this is good. And then we're gonna do the bottom, same thing. We're gonna start in the center and then we're gonna work our way down in here, okay? And I'm gonna bring that color up a little bit so that it blends in with the other, just like that. But I, I definitely want it lighter toward the bottom and just blend the two together, just like that, because there might be some of that color up there too. And then just at his feet here. So just like that, okay? So that's pretty much it for that part. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay attention to this part over here. And what these are gonna be, they're gonna be trees, okay? So what they're gonna be pine trees in specific. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our darkest color green and you can use whatever color you like, you guys. Um, this is completely up to you. Um, for me, I'm going to use this really dark color and actually I'm gonna use my script liner first. So just dip it in there. And then what I want you to do is I want you just to twirl it right on your pencil, okay? And these things can hold a lot of water, but right now I don't want them to hold a lot. I'd rather be in control of what's going on. And I'm just gonna make a point right here and a point right here, okay? And those are gonna be two little trees. So then we can take our crayon, our um, 
now we know where the trees are located. So now I'm gonna take my lighter green and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna dip it in the water. And then I'm just gonna make um, some little branches here, okay? And and with these for these um, trees, you want the, the you want it thinner at the top and thicker at the bottom. And don't worry, we're going to come back in with some other color, and we're going to darken that up a bit. But for now, we're going to start with this lighter color. So it may take some time, and, and you know, just zigzag it. It doesn't matter where it goes, as long as you're starting out thin at the top and then going thicker toward the bottom. It's not you know, it's not anything too hard. It's just um, paying attention to the thickness and the thinness, okay? And you wanna put that all around this tree. So just like that. Okay, and I mean, some branches may be curled up, some might be um, missing altogether, you know, in certain areas. So we just want these branches to be um, all over the place. No, if you're out in nature, you'll see that, that everything is not perfect and uniform. It is um, more of a haphazard shape. Okay, we're gonna do the same with this one. I might extend that out just a little bit, but I don't want them as tall as the other. So just like that, and again, same idea. Okay. Just like that. Okay, and, and you know, this is a pretty easy little painting to do and we will be darkening that um, other spot up a bit. Okay, so there we go. We've got our trees down in there, okay? And now I'm, we are going to wait for all of that to dry. And then I will see you right back here. So um, as soon as that's dry, I'll meet you back here. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so everything is dry now. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add some trees into the bear, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take my light green crayon and I'm just gonna make <clears throat> little marks as to where I want my tree line to go, okay? And we want them, some of them higher, some of them lower. Um, we want them sort of all different, um, all different heights, okay? And then maybe this one goes a little lower down here. Maybe we just have some tree tops in this area. Maybe that one goes right up in there and there. So just make your little marks random and that will be the top of our trees, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing over here that we did over on this side. So I'm just gonna dip my pencil in there and we're just gonna go in here and make these little trees. Just like that. And just remember they get wider as they get to the base, okay? And you may need to sharpen up your pencils too, guys, okay? So we just want to go in here and we want to make them wider as they get to the base. And you want to sometimes leave space in between too. And we will fill in these other gaps as well. But for now, this is what we're, what we're doing. So just dip your pencil right in the water. And if they touch each other, that is all right, guys. So it's all good. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Just don't strive for perfection. I might even add one a little bit in here as well. And a little one right here. Just to show him going right off into his foot there. And take that one all the way down. And then again here. And then we're gonna have to let that dry again. And it's just, you know, little zigzaggy sort of strokes that we were looking for. And this is gonna be really cool, I think. I mean, I hope. Um, I mean, I've never done this before, so 
except with acrylic paint. So we'll see how this works, but I think it'll be pretty cool. So we just wanna put that in there really dark or a lot, not dark, but just using as much as your pencil as possible. And then in here and there, and maybe that spot's a little bit on the whiter side. So we're just gonna go all the way down here, same color guys, and then we're gonna switch up the colors <clears throat> in a minute. <clears throat> Sorry, clear my throat. I don't have COVID anyone. Um, clear my throat and um, and then just keep on going. Keep on keeping on. So that one is right there. We might have another one coming up in here and then it comes down in this direction. So basically what we're doing is we're making a forest in the bear because that's where the bears live. And you know, he spends a lot of time of his life out here and I just feel like it's kind of a cool thing to do. Okay, so there's our bear, okay? And now we're gonna go and we're gonna switch up our color and we are going to use the fern green, okay? And we're leaving that alone for a minute. I'm just gonna dip in my water again and I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna add a little bit of dark to this guy and you don't want it dark everywhere because we, we sort of wanna um, layer this, okay? Because that way it looks more three-dimensional. And, um, you know, we're all striving for a three-dimensional look when we're painting. So so this, this kind of just put a little bit on. Don't cover up all that light color. I just want you to put this, this, um, green on here in the same haphazard fashion that you did before and darker or sorry lighter ah wider toward the bottom and some of those ends might be curling up some of them might be you know curling down it it really it doesn't matter you guys they're trees and they are free to do whatever they want and believe me they will do whatever they want okay so that's that then we're gonna go in and we're gonna do the same with this one. And you know, go go into those blank spaces, um, the white spaces too, and add your add your little branches too. And then we're gonna go in with a really dark green at the end. But we're just starting with the watercolor. You start with the light and you go toward the dark. It's just the way that works with the watercolors, okay? Oops, I have a hair or something in here. There we go, we'll cover that baby up. There we go. And then we might bring that out just a little bit, just to indicate some grasses and things, okay? There we go, okay? And then we're gonna do the same in here, guys, okay? So I'm just gonna dip my pencil again, and I'm gonna go in just ever so lightly and just add a little bit of darkness to these trees in here. I hope you guys are liking this one. I think it's kind of cool. It's a little bit of darkness there to those trees. And if you notice, I'm going more toward one side than the other, okay? So be, that way we can separate them too. So, you know, and, and maybe they, um, maybe the sun's shining in from that way. So we need to separate them a little bit and have the lighter side on the right. I'm going to make that one a little bigger. There we go. And if you're having trouble getting this color to stay, then you may have to um, let it dry for a bit. You know, you can always pause the video and then just let it dry. But I'm finding it sticking pretty good on here. So I'm just going to carry that one out a little more and down here a little more. And then down in here, down here, down in that area to indicate the grass or whatever might be down there. And then a little, just a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit in here, and a little bit in here, okay? So there's that layer, okay? Now I'm gonna go back to this, these trees here because I want some grasses and things to come out of here, okay? so. You know, just um, 
and you want it fairly dark at the bottom of the tree here. And just let some grasses come out and play, you know, wherever you think they might go. And I'm going to use my uh, forest green on that too, just for a little bit of a darker color. There we go. Okay, so that is that part. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in. I'm going to actually go in with the um, tip while this tip is fairly sharp. This is the forest green, you guys. So um, you may want to sharpen up your pencil a little bit. In fact, I think I might do that because we're going to make the tops of those trees now. Okay. So I'm going to sharpen up my pencil a little bit there so that it's nice and sharp at the tip. And then I'm just going to go in and I'm going to add a little line up here. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of color in there too, just to add those tips in there. <clears throat> and there might be one back in here and then just add whatever you think, cause it's a forest line. Okay. So with a forest, you know, that it's pretty, um, I'm, that one might go up really high, even higher than that other one. Okay, so there we go. And just add your lines in there, and then we're going to go over it with the dark again. Okay, and back in here, we might have a tree back here, 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 back in that area. And, you know, this doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. All you do, draw your straight little line and then just come down from it, okay? One in here maybe, one here. That one might be really tall. There we go. Maybe he's really tall. He's pretty tall too. There's another one back in here. I just love doing this stuff, it's so much fun. And then here, he might be pretty tall as well. And meanwhile, the rest of this is drying. It's gonna be fairly dark in this area. There we go. And I'm gonna just put that a little bit higher, a little higher there, down in here. And then I'm gonna add this dark green to the bottom too, to his feet, just because it's in a forest. And, um, you know, this is the bear's forest, really. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my pencil in again. And so we can get that really green color. Just like that. And I'm just going to add a little bit of green, a little bit of a darker green to the, to the side. That's a little bit shadowed. Okay. Just to add that little extra depth in there. And then we're going to do the same thing to our other trees too. So I just want it to look like, um, you know, that things are in shadow and out of shadow. And so, and again, just make sure you're thinner at the top of the tree, wider toward the bottom. Okay. And this one might have some dark in here too. And then this one. And maybe he's on a, he's on a little hill, this guy. So you can add in a few little grasses in there and things. Same with this one. Okay. And then I'm just going to dip in a little bit more and add a little bit more foliage in here and in here. Okay. There we go. It's really dark there. Okay. So there's our tree line in the trees. And I'm just going to fill in these little gaps here with some dark okay and not completely dark to cover up all that you've done so far but dark enough that um you know you don't see any particular shadows okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to come and do these ones the big ones and we're going to do the same thing we're just going to start at the top there and again the light is going to be shining in this way so just like that going to make it darker on this side of the tree. 
And I mean, these are scribbles, guys. They're not anything, you know, too hard to manifest. They're just little scribbles. And the little scribbles end up looking like big trees. And that's just the way it works with these, okay? So there we go. And then same on the other side. I might even add a little bit more in here, a little more darkness in here. And maybe there's a few over here too. Okay. And same on the other side. Just add a few little dark branches there coming out to indicate the shaded side of the tree. And it's always, the trees are always going to be darker toward the base too. So just to give you a heads up there, there we go. Okay, that's looking pretty darn good. I'm gonna add a little more of this dark green in here just to add a little stuff back in here and set those trees down just like that, okay. And, um, and now what we can do is we can take our um, little liner brush, okay, and I want you to dip it in the water. And then we're going to come in with the liner brush to these grasses, and we're just going to make them a little taller. And put them every which way direction you like, you guys. Because it's really, you know, I mean, we have to set these trees down somehow. And so we want to be able to um, lift up whatever is in behind there just to make it sit. And then I'm just gonna roll my brush in this area here. It's gonna be pretty dark under there, in there, just like that. There we go. And a little darker there. And I might even go as too far as to say to take your forest green, dip your liner brush in there on the end of the pencil here Okay, just on the end of your pencil like this and roll it around. And then, you know, maybe these little things have some doodads on them. So we'll put some on there, just like that. Maybe they come out there, come down in here. Same on the other side. Get a little more water there. Dip it on, roll it around. A little more water, and maybe it comes out like that. And there's little things going on in there okay so that part's finished and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our sharpie and I'm going to add a few little birds up there okay in the distance so I'm going to add a couple over here right in here maybe maybe I am maybe I'm not Yep, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bird here. Maybe one over here. Maybe one here. And maybe a little one way off in the distance there, as well as over there. And maybe there's going to be one here. And back in the trees here. So you can add in whatever birds you like. I'm going to put another one up here. And I might even put one flying the other way. There we go. And way off in the distance there. Okay, so there you go, you guys. That is our project for the day. It looks fantastic. You can, if you wanted, you could add in, um, you know, a little bit of, of, um, of the stem of the tree if you want. So just a little one there, a little one there, a little one there, just to give it a little bit of umph. Little one there and there. And same with these guys. You could do the same thing. Just add it wherever you think. You don't have to do it everywhere, but wherever you think it might land, just to give it a little extra something, something. And that's it. After that, you guys, we are going to sign our work. There we go. I love doing little hearts. I think I might do one today. Grab some red out of your crayons or your watercolors. I think I'll use the crimson red and dip it right into your water just like that. And color in your heart. 
And that, my friends, is my journal entry for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And please do hit like and subscribe if you like what I'm putting up here. And um, yeah, until the next one comes out, we'll see you all later. And thanks a lot. Okay, bye.